how's it going everybody got another video here for you we're gonna find a limit so we got the limit of cosine x raised to the 1 over x squared and then we're taking the limit as x goes to 0 from the right all right so you can see if we if we plug 0 into here we cosine of 0 is 1 and then as we approach zero from the right this exponent goes to infinity so we got one raised to the infinity power this is a indeterminate form so let's see how we go about solving this problem all right so what we're going to do is we're going to let y equal uh, cosine x raised to the one over x squared all right and then what we do is we take the natural log of both sides. So we got the natural log of y is equal to the natural log cosine x raised to the 1 over x squared power. And then, as you know, we have a property that says we can pull the exponent down in front. All right. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one extra step and I'm going to write this as natural log cosine x over x squared. Just write it as a fraction. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal if you don't, but I think it helps a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and take the limit of natural log y. So let's take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of natural log y. Okay, and so that's the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. Now, what is the natural log of y? The natural log of y is this right here. That's the natural log cosine x over x squared. Okay, we just, all we did was replace the natural log of y with this. See, we got natural log y, we replace it with that. Now, you can see if we take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, well, if you plug 0 in for x, the cosine of 0 is 1, so that would be the natural log of 1, which is 0, and then 0 plugged in for x here would be 0, so we've got 0 over 0. So here we can apply L'Hopital's rule. And so this is going to give us the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. And we can take the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of that, that's going to be cosine x. And derivative, uh, derivative of natural log cosine x. Cosine x goes in the denominator. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x over x squared. And so this would give us the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of negative tangent x over, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That shouldn't be x squared. That should be 2x. We've got to take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. All right, so derivative of natural log cosine x is negative sine x over cosine x. Derivative of x squared is 2x. And so we get the limit of negative, I'm going to put this in parentheses, we get the limit of negative tangent x over 2x. And if we plug the 0 in, once again we get 0 over 0. And so we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So that's the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of negative secant squared x over 2. All right. Now let's plug the 0 in. So that's going to be negative secant squared 0 over 2. And what is secant squared 0? Well, secant squared 0 is 1. This would give us negative 1 half. So let's just do, let's just, let me just show you. I'm sure you know, but I'm going to show you anyway. So secant squared 0, remember, secant squared is 1 over cosine squared, whoop, cosine squared 0. 
and so that's 1 over, and cosine of 0 is 1, so that's 1 squared, which is just 1. And so that's where we get the 1 in the numerator, and then the 2 there in the denominator, and then the negative sign. All right. All right. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of our original problem. So that's cosine x raised to the 1 over x squared. Okay, that's we're just we're coming back to our problem here. And so this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of y. Now where did that come from? Well, remember up here I let y equal cosine x raised to the 1 over x squared. So I'm just replacing this cosine x raised to the 1 over x squared. I'm replacing that with a y. So I'm replacing this with y. And so this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of e raised to the natural log y. All right. So let me just explain where that comes from. This, this right here is y, okay? That's what it equals, it equals y. So remember from algebra that if you have b raised to the log of x with base b, then your answer is x. If the base of your exponent and the base of the log are the same, then your answer is what you're taking the log of. So if we look at this, We've got e raised to the natural log of y. Remember, that's the same thing. Well, what's as this? What's natural log? Well, remember, natural log is log base e, right? See, this natural log here is the same thing as log base e. And since this base of the base of our exponent and the base of our log are the same, we can apply this property. That just equals what we're taking the log of, which is y. So what I did is I just rewrote y as, as e raised to the natural log of y. And that's where that came from. All right. And so now this is equal to e. Well, look at this. Do we know the limit? of natural log y as x goes to 0 from the right? Yeah, see we calculated it right here. It equals negative 1 half. And so this is equal to, we'll come over here, this is equal to 1 over e to the 1 half, which is 1 over square root of e. And that is an e there. And there's your answer. All right. So that's a pretty good problem there. Not bad. It's not that difficult. And and just remember the, these kind these types of problems here. This is how you work them all. Let y equal this, and then do natural log. That's how you work them. Now the thing that's going to get messy is the the simplifying part. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.